828 Finder Venture. We're gonna put a security plate under the tundra that I have to protect the catalytic converters since those are a hot commodity these days. I don't know why people risk stealing your catalytic converter, because, but I guess it's worth it to them. Thieves will do what they do. So anyways, I'm gonna try to install this today. I say try. So uh, let's see how difficult it is, see if I can handle this and uh, let's go do it. Well, here you go, guys. This is a catalytic converter security shield for the bottom of a Tundra. This one's a pretty thin piece of steel. Still substantial though. Pretty lightweight, but it'll do its job. It's powder coated black, so I think it looks very nice. There's a better look at it on the sides. It has this lip that sticks up a couple inches. It's vented. There's four holes drilled for mounting. Hardware wise, let me show you what we got here. We have four of these that go up in the frame. I don't know if you can see these. If these go up in the frame and hang down, then you'll put one of these security bolts up through it. And that's it. Got some anti C's. Always put that on stainless bolts, otherwise you won't be able to get them off. Got a little magnetic bowl so I can keep my hardware. I'm gonna see if these help hold it up. I don't know if they will, we'll try them. Okay, let's talk about the hardware that came with this catalytic converter shield. So it came with security bolts. These short ones, they're like one and a half inches long and these threaded type rectangular washers well so these i noticed were really hard to get up in the frame of the truck where they're supposed to go i couldn't get them it was hard to get them up in there much less put the cat shield on and then screw the bolts into them that was like it was just really frustrating and i just said forget it so i had so i decided to go another route I decided to use a longer bolt and go through the frame or the braces on the bottom of the truck and use these square threaded type rectangular bolts that it came with. But what I found out is that those rectangular pieces it came with that were threaded, they spun around. So it was hard to get them really tight. So I decided to nix that idea and just use uh, a bolt and split washer and some fender washers. And anyways, just get it get it together and it worked great those two places where i ran the bolts through are like 10 inches on center and i believe 29 on center and you can see those under the vehicle and you can use up to like a half inch bolt or something like that hey also guys if you would check out some of my other videos i've been doing a lot of mods and installs on the tundra and uh you know some other things so uh, check out my other videos you might find some you like Thanks. Well, that was easy. Gave me a lot more room under the vehicle. Look at that. That's awesome. Got a couple of these Harbor Freight wheel chocks. These ramps do a really good job. And what was I doing with these? Why did I need these? Because of this right here. Gotta protect the cats. These back ones are just resonators, so I'm not too worried about those. The front ones though need to be protected. So I did that. There you go. Now this won't, this won't stop them from stealing your cats, but it will slow them down. And maybe just that amount of time that they can't do it quick, they will go to another car because there's lots of other cars out there. So there you go. And if they want to steal these resonators right here, that's just fine. 
I'll just run an extension back. I mean, they're going to make a mess of it anyways. But actually, it's not fine. I think it's pretty, pretty damn horrible that somebody would do that. And I hope they, uh, hope they get a felony charge when they're picked up. Feel bad for all these people who got their catalytic converters stolen and they have their car is paid for and they have liability insurance. Who pays for that? They do. The working man pays for that. So anyways, there you go. I will put a link under the video in the description for this one. Now, I did drill some other holes in this. As you can see, I didn't use these holes that were recommended. I used these. Um, the other ones are easier. You can use a four inch bolt with a couple of uh, fender washers and, uh, and some nuts. And uh, you know, I used a high grade steel bolt. It'll slow them down trying to cut through that. So anyways, there you have it. Just a little something to make it a pain in the ass for the people out there. But if they want them, they'll get them. Or they'll just, you know, mess up your car otherwise. So it's pretty good. I've been wanting to get a cat protector for a while. And take a look at a few things under the tundra with these new ramps I got. Now that's a big cat protector there. They're a lot bigger than they look. You know, when you see them online, they're uh, they're not that big, but um, but when you get it in the mail, you'll be like, wow, this thing's huge. And some of them are quite heavy. This one was not. Again, I'll put a link under the video in the description. This one's pretty cheap, bolts on pretty easy. You know, and you can customize it how you want. You know, if you want to protect those resonators, you can uh, grill. You can uh, grill. You can drill some holes and add some extensions. You know, you could add some expanded uh, steel mesh. That stuff is razor sharp. And uh, you'll end up cutting up the people if they uh, try to get around that. But anyways, there you have it. There you have it. These work great at holding up the Tundra. You know, check these out. They're just molded plastic. They seem to do a good job. And they're stackable and pretty lightweight compared to the steel ones. Well guys, I finally got that catalytic converter shield on. I had to drill some holes and I'm using different hardware than what I showed you in the video. I'm using something a little beefier, take longer for them to cut through. It's all about time when they're stealing catalytic converters. Uh, so, anyways, I got it done. I'm pleased with it. It doesn't make any noise under there, and I don't see any excessive heat from it being kind of blocked off down there. There still gets nice airflow through there. Well, that's another video for you. I hope you like it. If you have anything uh, to add, like, just shoot me some comments. I'd really appreciate it. And I will respond as soon as I can, usually within 24 hours. Again, if you would uh, like, share, and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. It helps the channel grow. But really hit that thumbs up button. You know, if you like the video or if it offered any tips or tricks or anything, just, um, you know, hit the thumbs up. Hit the thumbs up even if you don't like it. Because it just I'll just make more videos and get better at it and hopefully make a video you like. Well, anyways, there you have it, and I will see you next time. See ya.